So back in 2019, I reviewed Concerto Moon's first album, Fragments of the Moon, and that was requested by Painkiller, the owner of Forces of Steel Metal Forum, and is a huge part, if not owner, of Revelations of Doom Forum, along with being the owner of the Japanese Metal Forum. This dude runs three forums, and let's face it, forums are dying out, but he has done a damn good job at keeping these ones active, and there's a nice tight-knit community there of good people. Not only that, if you have watched some of my streams, I give a shout out to Nasty Metal Productions. He is actually a member over there, that's where I met him at, and he does great content on heavy metal albums and all that cool shit. A while back, he messaged me and said it would be cool if I reviewed Savior Never Cry from Concerto Moon. And you know, I thought it would be a fucking great idea. So this is a shout out to Painkiller for requesting this album review. Now, I threw this album on my phone and listened to it for multiple weeks, if not a month or two, while I was at work, driving, and at home, and all that type of shit. I listened through the full album multiple times, and even some songs here and there to go back and, you know, kind of pick what songs I'm going to talk about in this review. Savior Never Cry was released in 2011 and it was released by Triumph Records. So it's a later album in the Concerto Moon discography. The lineup features Norifumi Shima on guitars, Masayuki Asada on drums, Toshiyuki Sugimori on bass, and Atsushi Kuze on vocals. And I probably butchered those names and I do apologize. Kuze was in Concerto Moon from 2011 to 2018 on vocals, doing three albums after Savior Never Cry. There are 11 tracks on this album and they are Savior Never Cry, Straight From The Heart, The Shining Light Of The Moon, Stay In My Heart, Lay Down Your Life To Be Free, over the fear lovers again in my dream don't leave me now chasing the devil and a bonus track slash the lies as you know from my Fragments of the Moon review, Concerto Moon is a power slash neoclassical metal band from Tokyo, Japan, and goddamn do they kick a lot of ass. Right away in, on this album, Concerto Moon brings it. Savior Never Cry, the opening track, just fucking rules. Nice upbeat opening riffs, drum work, and so on. Atsushi Kuze's vocals are different from Takio Ozaki on Fragments of the Moon. A little more deeper, not in a guttural sense, but just tone. A vibe I definitely get in the similar style to Graham Bonnet. If you don't know who he is, look him up. You should know him if you like heavy metal and hard rock. He was in Alcatraz and he has his own band, the Graham Bonnet Band. Not only that, he has been in Rainbow, the Michael Shanker group, and he did some albums with other bands here and there. Atsushi Kuzi's screams and high-pitched style is just fucking amazing. The guitar work from Norifumi Shima once again shines, and the solo in this song is really good stuff. What a way to kick this album off. Now the next track I want to talk about is actually track two and it's Straight From The Heart. Once again, upbeat, but a little different in style compared to the first song. Kuzi's vocals again shine here along with how tight the music itself is. Once again, I noticed already, and it's something I tend to pick up right away, is the drum work. Masayuki Asada does a damn good job throughout this whole album. Everything from how fast he plays to later songs, how it's just a nice good rhythm to it. Already two tracks in and I love the fuck out of this album. Yeah! 
track three, The Shining Light of the Moon, shows how Concerto Moon changes it up a little bit. Not as fast and upbeat as the first two songs, and really there's nothing wrong with that. I hate when people go, oh, the third or fourth track isn't as heavy, blah, blah, blah. What the fuck? That's stupid. I guess you can say this song is toned down slightly. I would call this like a radio hit or something for everyone rather than in your face shredding upbeat and a lot of speed like the first song had or even a heavier sound straight from the heart had. It's very well done. Hello. Track six is Over the Fear. Now this song opens up with a heavy, somewhat bluesy riff, almost a hard rock style to it rather than that neoclassical style. And this could be one of my favorite tracks on this album. Granted, it's pretty straightforward, but the whole damn song is fucking catchy, especially with the backing vocals. The solo in this song fucking kicks ass, has a straightforward traditional heavy metal vibe to it with a little dash of neoclassical in there to give you that taste. I just love the hell out of it. The final track I want to talk about is Chasing the Devil, which is also the song that ends out the album outside of the bonus track. And holy fucking shit, another upbeat, fast, in-your-face style song right away from the intro to the build-up in the beginning of the song. Kakuze's vocal work once again shines again like it has on this whole fucking album. And wow, what a goddamn song. Ranging from the vocal work, the music itself, the guitar solos, it's just amazing what this band can fucking do. Never Cry is a fucking awesome album, and this might be the longest it took me to work on one of these reviews because I was listening to it almost daily. But Concerto Moon blows Ingve Malmsteen out of the water when it comes to the neoclassical metal style. And I would even say that this might be my favorite album of the whole Concerto Moon discography, and I like quite a bit of what they've done. It's upbeat, fast, and in your face, kick ass Japanese metal. If you like this style, pick this album up, listen to it, and enjoy every minute of it. I hope you enjoyed this review of Savior Never Cry by Concerto Moon. Thanks for watching. Oh!